What's up guys, this is Charlie Ryder from TechInform.us. Today I'm here with another quick Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Um, this one is how this one is about the best export settings. Uh, now a lot of people have ask, been asking me uh, what on earth do you do for your export settings to get a pretty good output file. Um, so when you have your clip here, basically it's all edited and ready. Um, go up to file. I mean excuse me, go up to share, export movie. Uh, and that's pretty simple, actually. Um, you're gonna for uh, the export settings. You're gonna click H two sixty four. This is the uh, the default uh, Apple ex exporting codec. Um, after export, this will save you some export time. Just click Do Nothing. You can open it with a compressor if you want, but it'll slow the process down. Uh, and, and obviously, um, this is pretty self-explanatory. If you want it to include video and audio, or video only. Um, now this is basically the best export settings. Uh, it estimates it'll be about 1.27 gigs at uh, 9 minute 45 second video, 10, 1280 by 720 and six, at 60 frames per second. Uh, obviously that's going to be way off. So go ahead and render, I mean export through that. Eh. And then um, here we go, here's the... Uh, output file right here. This is a Modern Warfare 2 commentary. Now, aside from my camera that looks like complete crap, uh, this would this would actually look uh, pretty good. This would actually look pretty good. So, um, talking about the uh, size of the file, it's only 769 megs as opposed to um, 1.27 megs. So that's about 500 megabytes. So, um, hope this video helped anybody. Uh, stay tuned for more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.